Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for another EVE Online video. In today's video, we are going to try to make a Tech 2 item, something that has been requested very often and uh, I don't do a lot of Tech 2 uh, production. In fact, uh, while reading through some stuff, I uh, basically read that at the moment, Tech 2 in high sick is uh, rarely worth it. You really have to find the very rare products where you still have good margins to, uh, to make it all work, especially if you buy everything. Uh, in Nalsic they basically have such advantages from their structures potentially uh, that it's very difficult to compete with them from Isaac. Still, I want to go over the process and that means that we start with a blueprint of course. Um, all Tech 2 items have a Tech 1 variant which uh, you need uh, to uh, turn one of those blueprints into a Tech 2 variant. So uh, let's uh, start with our research station and let's see what I have prepared there. Uh, I basically did a little bit of preparations and I should be ready to make a Tech 2 item at this point but we're gonna try to go over the entire process since I think that's why most people actually want to, uh, to have this video. So uh, let's start here in the item hanger and you can see that I made a blueprint copy for uh, the rifter so you would start with basically this you can see that I did it here as well um, I have a blueprint original for the rifter and what I do is a copy job um, right now just to give it a first test I decided to do job two job runs runs per copy one that creates these items right here BPCs you can put those in here and then you can use invention which is the item here and that means that you need some data core mechanical engineering and data cores Minmetar starship engineering you can add an, uh, an accelerant if you want to uh, some of these give like 90% increase base chance this one uh, just 20% but it's also very cheap so that's the reason I did that and then over here you can choose between the possible outcomes the Jaguar blueprint or the wolf blueprint and so you're not always certain that uh, you'll have a BPC at the end let's see if I got one in fact I don't uh, I don't have one uh, from the oh no this is the invention job that I did right here um, so we'll see that in a moment uh, but this basically gives you a certain chance to get this BPC successful probability 47.1 percent so a little bit under half despite the fact that this uh, decryptor and I can do show info on this one already increases my probability by 20% still you can imagine that you can keep spamming these jobs and that eventually you'll get the BPCs that you want of course so let's just press start you can see what it costs really not that much couple of these um, these data cores and accelerant if you want to that is uh, entirely optional in fact let's oh uh, can I remove it or do you have to have an accelerant? Oh, maybe you do now these days. Let's see. I've got these. Let's put them in here. Oh, yeah. You actually do need an accelerant. Use no option. Oh, there you go. You can also try it without an accelerant. That's uh, basically what I wanted to show here as well. Let's put this back in the item hanger. Put this one back in here. Or click like that. And then let's press start. 12 hours for a single one of these that does take a pretty long time but all right this is how you get from a tech 1 blueprint original to a tech 2 bpc potentially and so yesterday I actually prepared that we've got this job here that is trying to create uh, the um, the output normally so let's press deliver on that and did it uh, give me anything Oh no, that's my industry job. God damn it. Didn't I prepare one of these? I guess I didn't prepare one of these. Mm. All right. I do have uh, a, a Tech 2 BPC ready in the uh, manufacturing. But again, just to recap that then, uh, you have a Tech 1 Blueprint Original. You create copies with those. And then um, with those copies, you can start invention uh, uh, jobs right here, which potentially turn this into a Tech 2 Blueprint. There is a certain chance that this will succeed, so you can uh, potentially need many attempts in order to get the BPC, but eventually, of course, you will get it and then you will have that Tech 2 Blueprint copy. Uh, maybe I'll quickly show that then as well. Uh, if we do get that Tech 2 BPC, we can press show info on that one. And here you now see the list of required materials in order to actually 
create that wolf and it includes a tech one rifter so the base item six ram starship tech which i'm producing at the moment uh, some construction blocks so there's pi involved then we get 45 more fights this is the reason why this is a different mineral from all of the others because it is tied to tech 2 production so it's a completely different market dynamic and then over here you've got a certain amount of components and so i made the investment to actually buy the blueprint originals for all of these components i still have to start to upgrade them uh, but uh, we can take a look at one of these for instance um Let's put this one in here. Uh, you can see what this costs. In order to create a deflection shield emitter, I need 22 fernite carbide. And if you watch Eve talk, you know where this comes from. It's from the advanced moon materials. Then we've got the ferrogel, and then we have the ceramic fibers. So all of these come from that one category. One thing to note, I already have uh, two, four, six, eight, ten of these uh, uh, of these uh, component BPOs. This is only for the Minmatar uh, Starship line. So if we go to those blueprints, which is over here, and we have manufacturing and research for components, you will see that for standard, let's see if I can find them here. Advanced components. Yeah, for Minmatar, for instance, right? That's the Minmatar line, two, four, six eight it's actually nine i miscounted for some reason uh, but then for the galente they have their own unique set of uh, blueprints and then for the Caldari ships, same thing. And then for the Amar ships, same thing. They're, they have their own list. So eventually, I do think I'm going to try to buy all of them. See if we can get some Tech 2 production going as well. But uh, what's really important to note there as well, of course, is that the needed... Um, materials like like the tungsten carbide uh, is unique for the race of tech 2 outcome uh, i thought it was like perhaps um, a zero zero specific difference but there's also just a, a sheer specific difference in the usage of all of these advanced moon materials so it's starting to be pretty complex but um, if we go into the show info of one of these and i would press a show info on the fernite carbide and go for industry here you can see that it becomes even more complex because what you need is a reaction to turn stuff that you get from moon mining uh, i think fernite alloy ceramic powder might even let's take a look at that and if this has an industry tab no even this is also a reaction formula for and this is what we recognize i think scandium vanadium uh, and that is one aspect of the tech 2 production that you cannot do in high sec you can do it in null sec you can do it in low sec normally uh, but i can't do that in high sec so there's no way for me to show that but it's just a different set of uh, formulas so you can see how many steps there are in tech 2 production it becomes very complex um, but that's also that also means that it's full of opportunities of course if any of those base items drops in value everything else has higher margins and that all trickles up into the tech 2 items as well so potentially uh, of course uh, if you have a nose for really complex industry and and really complex trading there is potentially a lot that you can get out of it um, but yeah the reaction part of tick 2 production you can't get uh, to those so this is about the materials basically moon mining um, so from a moon you get base items then you get one reaction cycle then a second reaction cycle this then uh, is used for your component bps bpcs uh, bpos um, and then you add in the pi materials you add in the fuel blocks uh, that are needed as well and what was the last one uh, for the tick 2 variant let's go take a quick look at that uh, oh, the morphite of course the extra minerals as well and you need all of that in order to create a tech 2 item so so far all we've done is basically started uh, an invention job so let's move on to the manufacturing um, and so far all we've really done is basically buy bpos turn them into bpcs and then try to get that into a tick 2 bpo and all it takes is one structure that has the research um 
facility. Uh, so that'll give you access to the copying, to the invention if you want to improve the blueprints and then also to invention itself. So let's say that we have made those uh, those BPOs and uh, BPCs, excuse me, and I should have one here for the wolf. There it is. That would be the result. And then of course we need all of these items. So we get the nuclear reactors, the plasma thrusters, fernite carbide compos composite armor plates, etc, etc. It now needs seven items of the nine that you can potentially get for the Minotaur ship construction. As I've said, we get the Morphite, you've got the construction blocks, you need a Rifter as well, and then we still need this RAM stuff, so we're gonna deliver that as well. In fact, I'm gonna deliver all of these jobs because I still need to bring my munitions out at some point as well. And that means that now in here I bought everything else, uh, or you could, with the BPO, produce it from more base items can definitely decide on which step you want to get into it uh, but um, no more than that and then the ram all these take uh, are again take one minerals we have had these blueprints for a very long time so these are actually fully researched as well it's not the first time that we try to get into take two production it just never worked out it is as you can see here uh, quite a bit more complex than uh, just straight up take one production but uh, as I've said, that means it is full of opportunity. So eventually you, of course, gather all your materials. Um, how many of these you want to make yourself or do you just buy this off the market? Really depends on uh, what you want to do. And then here we have an input estimated value of 28 million and output estimated value of 33 million. That is not so bad, uh, but uh, I think I overpaid these uh, by, by quite a bit. I think that these are more expensive than what uh, is estimated here at the moment. So the margin uh, is generally speaking not as good as what you're uh, seeing here uh, in HiSec. Basically, NOSIC is far more, um, far more competitive than we are because of their ability to do the reactions themselves and also to get better uh, material efficiencies and things like that because of their location and because of the uh, citadels that they're using. And then all there is left to do, of course, after you've gathered all of that is press start. And as you can see here, that industry job is running. It is perfectly possible from a high citadel to produce a tech two item. You don't need to be in NALSIC itself for that. It's really all about those um, uh, those reactions that you can't do in Heisek. Everything else does work. So uh, that is basically the cycle. I think uh, if you want to be ready for that, eventually what you'll do is you'll have your ramps in your industry facility and you will also have your, let's see here, fully researched, uh, they are here, your fully researched component uh, blueprints in here so that you could decide on stocking up on uh, all of these uh, advanced moon materials. You need to bring those into your manufacturing as well and then you can start to make all of the components themselves PI, you could make that yourself. Construction blocks is, is pretty easy uh, to make, generally speaking. And then Morphite, probably want to buy that as well if you try Tick 2 production from HiSec. And then the other side of it, of course, you've got a Blueprint original of the Tick 1 variant. That one uh, you can create copies out of and then using uh, the... Um, the data cores and the uh, accelerants or the decryptors, excuse me, uh, you try to invent your blueprint uh, copies of the Tech 2 ships or materials or munitions that you want to make. And that is basically, uh, yeah, trying to do Tech 2 from HiSec. Very complex, but it's also quite doable. Basically, once you have the uh, Tech 2 blueprint copy, here for instance, a viewer also gave me some Scourge Javelin take twos uh, to, to try and uh, and make those. All you have to do is put that up in the industry and you can see, okay, one more fight per run. That's quite doable. All we need here is phenolic composites. Very much doable as well. A little bit of rocket fuel. That's the PI material. And then we have graviton pulse generator, which uh, let's press show info on that. And then that blueprint is probably going to be a component as well, normally. Uh, where do I find that few market details? Yeah, there you go. It's part of the Kaldari component line. So some of them will probably be uh, munitions related as well. That's why we've got seven out of the nine. And then here, one more RAM. This time it's a munition tick, which you need as well. Put all of that together in here. Estimated uh, price 275,000. Estimated value 483,000. That 
that's actually not that bad. Uh, I think perhaps for some of the more popular Tech 2 missiles, it could be worth it uh, to look into purchasing, investing in all of this, and then coming out with the finished product. But um, you know, you can you can imagine here again uh, another BPO, another BPO, uh, a PI setup. Uh, if you want to make this yourself, that gonna have to invest in that more fight you're gonna have to buy that from the market in order to do your tech 2 production in high sec it's more complex it takes more risk it takes more effort um, and uh, the results are not always there know that nullsec basically has a better potential when it comes to the tech 2 production uh, with their margins because they have unique bonuses and because of course they also fully control well it's not just nullsec but low sec as well uh, but they do uh, basically control the um uh, the part of uh, of the industry process that we can't which was god damn it those names uh, the reactions that is something that you can't do from a high sick station um, unfortunately i don't know it adds to uh, the differences between the spaces and it basically forces us to uh, do business with nelsic if we want to get into that zero zero production so um yeah not not super easy to uh, bring this in in like uh, one video and to make it very clear but i hope that this can be helpful for people that uh, want to get into that um, tech 2 production basically you need a research station a manufacturing station start off with the bpo uh, for the tech 1 variant of what you're planning to produce then invent the tech 2 uh, bpc go for the item list there and then you can uh, invest in the bpos uh, that are needed there invest in the materials there and eventually you'll get your tech 2 production setup going as well and uh, that's going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching i hope it's helpful for newer players that want to get into industry and i'll see you all next time